Could have done too many wind sprints there, you know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest is best known as the front man of the Matthew Good Band. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. He's gone from writing music to writing his first book. At last, there is nothing left to say. Please welcome my good friend, Matthew Good. <laughs> Good, I gotta tell you. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Send me down now. Uh, yeah. Please de deprogram your people so we can move on, <laughs> will you, Matthew? Yeah. Now, uh, I read the book uh, the other night. I gotta tell you, these are the rantings of a maniac. But, uh, uh, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, All those drugs paid we'll, off. Well, seems. we'll get to. Yeah, sure. Now, we'll get to my particular favorite in a minute, but how's this going for you? You're on a tour, you've got to do readings from this, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, what, how are people reacting to it? Poorly. No, kidding. <laughs> no. no. Actually, it's kind of weird. Um, I did it the other night in Toronto, and I did it at the, uh, the uh, Ottawa Literary Conference and stuff. It was fun. I tried to put together this video, really, that just of things you can do with the book after you read it. Right. And right. kind of, you know, an instructional right. video. And yeah. uh, I couldn't edit it in time, yeah. unfortunately. Door stop, stuff like that. Spanking girls. Spanking girls. You know. <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's got good whip back, as you can see. So. <laughs> That kind of thing. Is it uh, gender specific spanking? Could you spank anybody with the book, Matthew? <laughs> Just for you, Mike. You can do pretty much right, whatever yeah. you want. It's, I guess my big privacy concern of is, your own home. Well, yeah. Feel based free. on my lifestyle, my concern is, can I spank myself with this book, Matthew? That's. I don't know. That's you, the you got the Degrassi kids around too, which is kind of creepy, really. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Was now, that your I, idea? I was on a little book tour myself once a couple of years ago when I was well, when I was a big hit with the folks, and uh, <laughs> I went on a little book tour myself. Now mm -hmm. I found these readings kind of unnerving. You know, these people mm -hmm. group around, uh, they wait for you to read from the book, and you start staring out there at that crowd, and you go, you know why I'm doing this? Because they can't. There's something <laughs> wrong. You ever get that impression when you're looking at uh, them? They're here to have anybody read anything to them aloud. Not really. I'm far too much concentrating on what mm -hmm. I'm doing, really. There's now, a lot of big the, words and stuff. Have you done the chapters, the indigos? Oh, no, I'm, sorry, I'm not, not really going to do the bookstores, I don't think. No. Where no. are you doing these readings? I did uh, one at the NAC in Ottawa. I did one at uh, a yeah. club in Toronto and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A theater. I think I'm doing in Victoria. Yeah. And I think the Vancouver Public Library. Now, how'd the, how'd the NAC go? Because the NAC is a 2,500-seat theater. It was good. It was fun. It was packed? Yeah. No kidding. I had 2,500 people. I don't think so. It was just like the, there's the one where the symphony was, and they were actually up there performing, yeah. and we were in yeah. the, what's it called? The other one. The gray one. The gray we one. We were in the gray that's one. Right. That's, that's exactly about what About 400 people or something yeah. like that? Ottawa's completely bereft of imagination. They do call it that, the gray one. I wouldn't doubt that's it, actually. It. That's also what it. we call our prime minister, the gray one. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what we call it. Yeah. Oh, my. Now, you know, you're a guy... You're a guy who's been known to shoot from the hip. I mean, I mean, I've seen you on much music. I've mm -hmm. seen you interviewed. I've seen you. Uh, I've seen people want to, you know, want to get together and have a nice soft. I'm a shit disturber. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. So, you know, I, I, I listen to you. I read. I, I think to myself, hey, this guy's got a lot of disdain for his label, a lot of disdain for the business. Why, Matthew? Why? I'm just angry. Why, why are you angry? <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It, it just seems strange to go through life and just not say what you think. I mean, what's the point? You right. only get to do it once. Mm -hmm. so. That's true. It's a valid point. Yeah. 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 You know. And I, I find it kind of refreshing because we get a lot of musicians here who mm -hmm. uh, pretend that everything's coming up roses for them. You know what I mean? No. Like life's a Pez dispenser and they're the candy. <laughs> and you, you come here and you tell it like it is. It's one of the things I enjoy most about you. Well, it's all you know? my burdening quest to become prime minister of this great nation one day. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's all, let's all hope that happens, Matthew, because I certainly don't want to see his governor general. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we just redid the kitchen. Now, uh, oh, I've got a particular favorite passage. You know where it is. I want you to read this for me. I'm going to have to find it now, aren't I? Uh, you wrote the book. Yeah, I know. I didn't put it together, though. <laughs> Times like this, I just call a guy's bluff. Did you really write that book? You should know exactly where every word is placed. Where is it, dude? Well, let me, let me paraphrase you. Find it. I love this. This is my particular favorite. This was uh, a list of ten things you'd like to do before you died. One was to invent a shrinking machine and uh, make love to Barbie and steal her Corvette. I love that. Well, that's, that's, that's not, the, that's that not exactly the way, the way you put it. No, but, I said... 
I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was fabulous. No, no, no. Who came to you? It and has said, more impact that way. Okay. <laughs> no. Who came to you and said, we need you to wake up in the middle of the night and write down your craziest thoughts and give it to us in book form? Who came to you and said this? Uh, uh, no one, really. Right. Actually, my, my contract with the devil really stipulates that I do music first, then the literature, right. Then, right. then action blockbusters right. after that, and right. then, then politics. Now, now, now that we're talking about the music, you had a, you had a bit of a... The band's back together. Yes, the band's back together. Minus one guy. Minus no, the one no. Guy. We're Everybody's all, back all together. four of us. You managed to... Uh, all four of us. That's true. We're going to break up next week. Yeah. Now, you managed, uh, you managed to mend that rift? Yes. Yeah. Now, what was the problem? Because you're sitting here, you're with us right now. Tell us what happened. Oh, you know, we all pretty much just had our heads up our own asses, really. Yeah, okay. It's, that well, makes it, it very it, hard to sing, doesn't it? It's, well, of course, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting an extra laugh out of that one, aren't you? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, it's one of those age-old... Every rock and roll band goes through it. It's right. kind of like bad drama now. It's yeah. not, nothing original, so... Yeah. The Beatles went through it. The Rolling Stones have had their personal. Everybody changes. goes through yeah, it, so... Everybody goes through it, yeah. Just, uh, you know, it's yeah. kind of like craft so, dinner, just put it in a bowl and mix it around, that's what happened. Right. So everything's, uh, everything's rosy now? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, we got the new album coming up. We're all holding hands and such. By the way, this is the new album. This is, uh, this is the audio of being. Mm -hmm. This is the audio of being. Give that a listen on my way in today. Love it. I think it's uh, probably the best album you've done to date. Thank you very much. Uh, I really believe that. Now, are you going to be going out on tour with the band? Yeah, I think we're going to uh, probably do, I don't know, start in January, maybe January, February, mm -hmm. that way. So. Oh, are you going to pop by and pay us a little visit? Perhaps. Well, you know, I want you to remember I'm helping you well, out. I kind of want to do my, my, my dog hoop and spinning plate thing instead sure. next Listen. time I come by. Yeah. Well, we, we get that a lot. That used to be a big night here. Why don't we hold like a bikini, a bikini contest? On the well, show sure, we can. Like sure we can. Sure we can. It's a hell of a lot better than watching a band play, wouldn't you say? I think between the two of us, you'd be the winner. I really do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me and Mike and Yellow Speed us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think, oh, I think I'd look like a school bus. I really do. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to thank you for coming by, my friend. It's Thanks always for a having me. To see you. I wish you luck with the book. I mean it. I think it's brilliantly funny. And thank I think you very everybody much. Everybody should get out there and buy a copy. Now, where's it available? All the big books. Yeah, stores? everywhere, pretty much. I figure. All right. Unless there's someone's not doing their job, right. which is entirely possible. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and if they're not, you don't really care. You're a forgiving type. <laughs> exactly. All right. Matthew I hold no good. Oh no, will. Matthew Good, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after these commercial messages. Don't go away.